in this moment right now, I can be thinking about this moment, what is happening right now, you people, my computer, the light that's on, I can be thinking about something. I can be focusing on something that is right here. And whenever you think a thought, so this is really important. Whenever you think a thought, there is always, always an emotion attached to it. Always an emotion attached to it because we are vibrating all the time. Our, the cells of our body are sending out a vibration. We call it our aura so we are sending out a vibration all the time and because we are thinking all the time we are sending out a vibration all the time so that vibration that we are sending out that is the magnet that is what pulls into our life things that are on the same vibrational frequency so in this moment, where am I focused and what am I focused on? I can be focused on this bottle of water and I can be focused on it from a positive point of view or I can be focused on it from a negative point of view. I love this water. Or I can say, oh no, this bottle is empty. I hate that this bottle is empty. I'm beating up on myself. Why didn't I bring another bottle with me? Those are all negative thoughts. And so if in this moment I decide to go negative, then that is the vibration I'm sending out into the universe. And whatever I'm pulling into my life is going to be on that vibration. But I have a choice. So in this moment, standing here right now, in this moment, I could be thinking about the past. Now, when I think about the past, let's say I'm focused on the wedding that I went to last night, but I have two ways of focusing on the wedding that I went to last night. I can focus on it with pleasure and think about all the good food that was there, uh, the, the fun that we had, the singing, the dancing, or I can focus on it from a negative point of view. Oh my goodness, it was a two-hour drive getting there. Right? And I, if I want to, I can start going negative. So many things I could say that are negative. So, but the, the here's the trick. Even though it was a memory, it's something that happened yesterday I can in this moment today is when I'm thinking about it and I can go negative or positive so now that accounts for four choices in this moment right now in the present moment I can be past I can be present positive now positive or now negative and thinking about the past I can be past positive or past negative that's four choices. How do I think about the future? In this moment, right here, right now, I can be thinking about tomorrow from a positive perspective. Oh my goodness, I am so looking forward to the Q&A tomorrow. Or I could, about the same thing, I could have a negative uh, perspective and I could say, oh no, I have a Q&A tomorrow. It's going to take up all my time tomorrow. But Whichever perspective I'm adopting, I'm doing it in the now, in this moment right now. And so the vibration that I am sending out into the universe, whether negative or positive about tomorrow, I'm sending it out now. And by the time I step into tomorrow, that vibration will already have attracted to me the result of my now vibration. So it doesn't matter whether you're thinking about the past, the present, or the future. You are doing it now in this moment. Therefore, your creative power is in this moment, is in this now moment. And so six thinking choices. We have six thinking choices. I don't know which book I wrote about it 
for the first time? Was it Thrive? I, I kind of feel that it was Peace Within, the book that is about meditation. And then I took that and, no, it, actually it is in, yes, it is in the Peace Within book and then it's in the Unlimited Workbook. So if you have the Unlimited Workbook, it is definitely in the Unlimited Workbook. Yeah, so the six thinking choices. In any moment of time, we have six thinking choices. And we make the decision where we are going to focus. Past, present, or future, negative or positive. We make that decision. No one's making that decision for us. I am making that decision myself. And when I become an expert at always picking the perspective that is positive, no matter whether I am focused on this now moment, past or future, when I become an expert at always looking at things from the positive point of view, now I am using law of attraction to support me. Because here's the thing, law of attraction is always working. We are always manifesting something that something that we are manifesting can be something that we want or it can be the absence of what we want that depends on the perspective we decide to adopt and this is why we have creative power this is why all my power is in the now because in the now i am making a decision powerful decision about how i am thinking my thoughts and so I'm going to, when I am present, when I don't allow my thoughts to run away with me, when I stop going off on autopilot, only then can I make that decision. When we go off on autopilot, we zone out of this present moment, we lose our decision-making power. We no longer in that zone, when you are lost in your thoughts, when you're right here, your body's right here, you're even doing something, but your thoughts are somewhere else, you have lost creative control on your future. And when you become someone who does that a lot, then your life becomes a train wreck. In order for us to create the reality that we actually want to enjoy living in, we have to remain present so that we can control our perspective, so that we can decide whether we want to be negative or positive, whether we want to think about this moment, the past or the future. I can make that decision and it doesn't matter if I think about the past as long as I'm being positive about it. It doesn't matter if I think about the future as long as I am positive about it. When you go off on autopilot, you don't know. It's a mixed bag. You, you start with one thing and you, when you go off into that is when we go into that space where we are not in control of our thoughts. And we start with one thing, but then we lose focus. And when we, oh, there, when we lose focus, what happens is that um, our mind just goes off on random. So even if I start on a positive thought, let's say I start thinking about um, my son. Let's say I start thinking about my son or my daughter. And I start thinking about them and I absolutely love and adore my children because I'm conscious. But if I go off into La La Land and I'm not control, in control of my focus and whether I should be negative or positive, then it's very likely that I will start with something positive and I'll say, oh, I love my daughter. She's so beautiful. She has gorgeous eyes. And then when I haze, when I phase out, when I zoom out of this moment, 
my thoughts can go. And that time she didn't listen to me. I didn't like it how she responded to me. And now even, and now without my knowing it, because when I'm in that La La Land, I don't know. I'm not choosing a perspective. The perspective is being chosen for me based on momentum. And so I can go negative and positive and without knowing I can create things that I didn't mean to create. This is why all teachers ask people to be present, mindful. Mindfulness is all about that, being present in this now moment. And this is the reason why all my power is in the now, but in order to exercise my power in the now, I need to be consciously present in my now, because I'm going to create anyway. I want to control what I'm creating. That's the difference. Makes sense? The six thinking choices are, it's just an easy way of remembering where am I? Which thinking choice am I practicing right now in this moment? So when we start a conscious, deliberate journey with law of attraction, we want to become in charge of that momentum. We want to be in charge of the direction of our thoughts and we want to be in charge of the momentum. When I'm driving a car, I don't let the car decide how fast I should go. Oh, this is a good analogy. Guys, remember this one. When you drive a car, you don't let the car decide where you should go and how fast you should go. You want to control how fast you're going and the direction where you're going. Well, your mind is a very powerful vehicle. It is responsible for all the results that you have in your life. Don't you think you are to control the speed and direction of this vehicle? You absolutely need to control the speed and the direction of this.